Today we're going to look at a new feature of QImage 1 that lets you display print information under all the prints in the job. This is something which our users have been requesting for some time and we hope that it will be useful to anyone using the tool. So we'll go ahead and add a print and then take a look at how we set up the print info for the job. On the print settings tab you can see that we have the new print information controls. It's on the print settings tab because this applies to all the prints in the job. And right now you can see that the print information is set to off. If we turn it on, we can choose one of the choices which is file name only. And you'll see that the file name of this image appears underneath in the live view. This will also appear in the preview and it will be printed on the final media. You can also select to list the file name and extension or the third option is to have detailed EXIF information for the print. You can see here in this case that we have the image name, the size of the image in pixels, we have the shutter speed, the original date and time, the ISO speed, the flash, the focal length, and the aperture. You can set the font of the print information by clicking on the font button here on the right. You can select from any font that's installed on the system you can select whether you would like to have it bolded or italicized. You can also change the font size and the color and whether you would like to have the font underlined. Notice that if you do change the font size, not all of the EXIF data may be present. If the print info you are displaying is shorter than the width of the image, you can also decide whether to have the text to the left, to the right, or center justified under the image. One reason you may want to display print information is if you were to display a print in a gallery, for instance, and you needed to be able to find out information about the print at a later date. One way you can do this is to hide this print information behind a mat, for instance. Now here it's probably a little too close to the image, but if we were to select this image and add a one inch white border, you can see that the print information would not be visible once this image was matted. Finally, I'd just like to show you that print information is visible under every print in the job. So let's go ahead and remove this border and make this print a little bit smaller so we can fit some more on the page. If I add these prints at the same size, you can see that each one is displaying its own unique information, for instance the print name, the image size, the shutter speed, but you're getting the same information for every print in the job. I hope you find the print info feature in QImage 1 version 2020 useful. Thanks for watching and for supporting QImage1.